We interrupt your regular programming to bring you live coverage out of Volusia County. Right now, Otho Wallace is being sentenced for killing Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner. The judge is about to announce how long he will spend in jail for manslaughter. Let's listen in live. It would not have impact in any decision by the court. To the extent that your motion also addressed some sort of a quasi-proportionality analysis, which you didn't argue, I would reject that. The Supreme Court has made it very clear that we don't do proportionality uh, analysis in cases. As far as this case, Mr. Wallace, I want to let you know that I respect you as a human being and that you have been afforded due process. I respect the process very much. I am not here to solve any social issues, and that is not the purpose of today's sentencing. However, having said that, I have to tell you this much. Words matter. Yes, sir. They really matter. And your words are very chilling, You're portraying an image of you that maybe you didn't anticipate. But when those words are taken in combination with what happened here, yes, sir. it sends a terrible message. I wish I could tell you that I don't know the reasons why this incident occurred, but the truth is that you clearly expressed your feelings towards law enforcement just days before Officer Jason Rayner was killed. I am convinced, um, more so today than at any other time, that you did not kill Officer Rayner because he was Jason Rayner. You killed him because he was a police officer. You took a simple police investigation, something that happens every single day in our community, and then you elevated it to a violent struggle for absolute, absolutely no rational reason. Officer Rayner never suspected the execution of your plan and until it was too late for him, and it cost him his life. You, however, achieved your goal of getting blood in your hands. And now you're being held accountable for those actions. But clearly, you hold nothing but resentment and contempt for law enforcement. And this country guarantees you and every citizen to hold to those beliefs that you want. You can, you can hate law enforcement all you want. However, violence is not a way of enforcing our beliefs in a democratic society. In this case, at the end of the day, your biggest mistake was failing to take into the account that each human being has its own set of characteristics. That's what makes us different. Concentrating your dislikes for all law enforcement without regard to any other human characteristics is called prejudice. Based upon that, I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of the offense of manslaughter with a firearm. I hereby sentence you to 30 years in the custody of the Florida Department of Corrections with credit for 847 days. I require you to pay court costs and convert those court costs to a civil judgment. You will have 30 days to appeal the judgment of the court. Thank you. Thank you. We begin right now at noon with breaking news out of Volusia County. You are taking a live look inside of the courtroom where Otho Wallace is being taken back into custody after a judge just sentenced him to the maximum 30 years in prison for manslaughter. He is convicted of killing officer Jason Rayner back in 2021 and a judge just sentenced him for the maximum 30 years, giving him credit for 847 days served. He will also have to pay court costs and has 30 days to appeal. All of this comes after emotional testimony just moments ago from his family, from himself, friends, officers, even again, Otha Wallace himself testifying. You see right there, Chief Jakari Young speaking with family members of Officer Jason Rayner. They were pleading for the maximum 30 years, especially after a judge, a judge sentenced him, a jury rather sentenced him to manslaughter, that lesser charge. So right now we are going to send you to some of the sound that happened today in court in case you missed it, take a listen. Jason is the one who stood for justice. Your Honor, please. Make your stand for justice and make the right decisions, please.
So again, Otho Wallace sentenced to 30 years in prison for shooting and killing Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner back in 2021. That is the maximum sentence. It came after hours of testimony today from friends, family members, and so many officers from the Daytona Beach Police Department. Let's go ahead and take you back to that sound. Jason's bravery, courage, determination, and compassion he held as a human has no comparison against the cowardness monster asking to be viewed as a human. But because the defendant decided to play the judge, the jury, and the executioner, his life was cut short at 26 years of age. So because of that, the maximum sentence should be non-negotiable. I know the officers did their job. They probably made mistakes as well. They just didn't take anyone's life. But be remorseful and forgive them. I mean, if you guys are officers, you should be forgiven. This is the only way we can live in this world. He has no hate towards no one. So when Otho Wallace himself spoke today in court, he asked the judge for mercy. He even suggested community service. His attorneys wanted less than the, than the minimum sentence of 10 years. Defense attorneys pushed for the maximum, which again, a judge just sentenced him to 30 years.